everybody, I'm Clara Hermit and welcome to another edition of Breaking the Mould, our regular market review show with our investment research director, Russ Mould. Russ, we're back for another week. Yeah. You know the question I'm going to ask I you. I do. What's the fuss? Well, we've had Royal Ascot, we've had the Lord's Test match, we've still got Henley, Wimbledon, rest of the World Cup. Yeah, okay, I'll get back to the point, shall I? Investment purposes, the fuss is all going to be about smartphones, oil and houses. Let's get off to a slick start with oil. Very good. That's very sharp. I'm nearly sharp as your new hairdo, in fact. So I like the bob. Well done. Thanks. Not at all. Uh, so yeah, oil, very important. Oil price is currently quite firm. $113 a barrel for crude right now. And the major reason behind this is the military insurgency in northern Iraq, the Sunni ISIS group making substantial territorial gains there. Now, Iraq is the second biggest mem uh, member of OPEC by production. 3 million barrels a day, that's about 4% of global output. So you can understand why the market's getting a little bit windy about where the price of the black stuff might be going. Uh, it's of particular importance to one company coming up in the next fortnight as well, Kent's Corporation. They've got numbers on the 25th. It actually has operations in Iraq and is an oil services and engineering group. So I'm guessing that that region is a big part of their operation. Very good. It's about a quarter of their sales last year. Um, so certainly you'll be looking for any commentary uh, on, what, on what their take on events there is. Two other issues to watch. The order backlog, $4.1 billion at the end of last year. You really like to be seeing that going up rather than going down. And secondly, an update on Valorous, which is a $435 million acquisition made in January that expanded their footprint in the States and also expanded their engineering arm. Right, let's go from oil price stakes to smartphones. Smartphones, there you go. Apple, iPhone 6. Now, it's coming out this year. There's no firm timetable yet, but I think Appleaholics will generally tell you they normally come out in September, is that right? So that's probably where the smart money is. Apple share price is motoring along quite happily in anticipation of the launch. And also a lot of their component suppliers are. If you look at the American stock market, companies like SanDisk and Skyworks, who provide silicon chips, the screens, their share prices are going tonto, and you may see some of the excitement spill over into the UK. We've got some of the Apple sort of supply chain stocks here, Arm, Semiconductor Intellectual Property in Cambridge, and also Imagination Technologies, a designer of silicon chips, and Imagination actually has numbers coming up on the 24th. Okay, so speaking of numbers, what are the key numbers that we should be looking at? Yeah, I mean, for? the hype about iPhone 6 is really exciting, and it has got the Apple, the, the Imagination share price going because it went from 350 to 160 after a couple of dreadful trading sims. It's back at 250, helped by Apple, but you're right, focus on the numbers, not the hype. Uh, and actually, earnings per share of forecast to drop 36% in the year that they're about to report, but helped by Apple, the market's looking for an 11% rebound this year, a 29% improvement next year. And the things that you'll be looking to sort of give a foundation to that will be chip shipments and particularly licenses. And they signed 43 new licenses in the first half. So you're looking for that to sort of take a step up. Okay, so that's oil, smartphones. Let's move on to bricks and mortar. Houses, yeah. And obviously, Governor of England, Mark Carney, still talking about he's getting a bit nervous about our prices getting too hot. Will the Bank of England raise interest rates quicker than people thought? And there also are suggestions the high street banks are actually tightening up some of their lending requirements already, which, which would be a first almost. Um, so that has definitely, both of those factors are weighing on house builder share prices. They've all come off by around a fifth from their highs, even though they've generally been reporting fantastic numbers, strong sales, firm pricing. So let's look at Red Row on the 30th and Persimmon on the 2nd of July, uh, because they're coming up with full year numbers. Again, look at pricing and completions, that's good. But the real issue is to watch forward sales and also any change in cancellation rates. It's probably too early to see that, but given that the share price have come down quite hard, you'll be looking for, you know, sort of no bad news there, as it were. Okay, thank you, Pleasure. Russ. That was Breaking the Mould for another edition. We'll be back with you in two weeks' time. Take care and make sure that if the sun's out, you wear sunscreen. Bye.